Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'm going to be teaching you some um, new stuff today to make stuff in the style of Cocktail Twins. I'll be showing you um, the sort of corporations they use, the effects, and how to make stuff like that without like drums because, I mean, um, without guitar because um, I guess they mainly use guitar in this stuff. You can sort of achieve similar effects using uh, VSTs or synths. As long as you have like effects on it, such as flanger, reverb, um, and other things, just to make it sound really um, dream poppy. But yeah, so I'll show you one of the melodies I made, and then I'll go show you how to make stuff like it. So for this melody, I'm using the XV um, 580. So this is like a Roland synth from um, the 90s, and um, it has a very dreamy sound. It's used a lot um, during the 90s or early 2000s in PlayStation 2 games and um, jungle music and studio albums and a lot of stuff. So yeah, or oh, and video games. And now I'll be telling you how I thought of the melody of the chords to use. So basically what I'll do is, I apologize for the mic noise, is um, show you how to make similar sort of chords, okay? So on Ableton, I'm putting this thing on so that you can hear what you're playing. And basically the sort of chords we want to use are suspended chords. So a suspended chord is, um, I'll show you one, like this. Or like... I got a bit carried away, but um, basically with suspended chords, um, I don't know the best way to describe it in music terms. So what you should do for your homework is um, search up how to do suspended chords. But basically, I know some of the ones for the C major key, which is um, all the white notes. And I guess some for the other notes, but yeah. So the, that's the sort of chords they like use, or they use um, seventh chords. So major seventh or minor seventh, and this is what it sounds like. Or like. And what we can do, I'll just make the keyboard bigger for everybody, is um, we can do inversions to make it sound thicker. So this means that we spread it out across the key. So if we get C major here, which is this, this is standard C major, we can move this up or we can move any of the notes up and this will be an inversion. Then we'll put this one at the bottom. So it's still C major, but it's just um, inverted, so it sounds different. So yeah, that's what another thing we'll do. So I'll show you with a seventh chord. So in Ableton, I'm just going to hit that feature and um, we're going to actually use that instead of the other melody. And I'm just going to be making a song and I'll be explaining while I do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the BPM a bit slow. Because, um, you know, this isn't trap music or dance music. So the BPM is usually under 100, I guess. But you can do anything. So I'm just going to get this right. And what I what I feel like will make real like will make the song sound amazing is if we have this repeat three times and then instead of this chord here one sec I'm just going to get rid of it. We're going to make it go into maybe um I missed on the keys maybe like or like
Even that sounds nice. Maybe I can arpeggio that. So arpeggio basically is um when the notes sort of play play in like a rhythm, like instead of this, or like. So it's a really cool thing to use in music. So we'll see if it works. I'm not sure if it will work, but if it does, it's gonna sound really nice. So we're gonna play it now. And um, also on this, I've got some uh, effects running. So I've got Valhalla Shimmer. Sort of gives it a nice uh, glossy sort of feel. Let's see how this chord changes. Maybe it doesn't work, but I'm just going to go to it and get it working. So what I'm going to do is that since I'm just working on this area, I'm going to go here. And maybe we just have to make more, more like um, notes. So it sort of fits. And now we're going to hear how it transitions. And this could go to like maybe a major chord, like there, or maybe suspended, like. So I'm just gonna click that there, gonna drop this velocity down, and we're gonna see how it transitions. Cause maybe this chord here can help bring it back to the start. And now I guess that's another loop, but we're just gonna try this eight bars. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transpose it up so that it can sound different. So basically in Ableton, the way I did it was control A and then um, arrow key up or arrow key down. Or you can also just drag it up. You can type a value here, like minus two semitones, which will bring it two notes down or like anything. And um, in FL, I'm pretty sure you can right click on your pattern and you can just transpose the whole track. Yeah, so it's sounding a tiny bit different to like standard Cocktail Twins, but it's still good. And um, what we need is we sort of need like a delay or flanger because that's what they use. That's what a lot of the shoegaze um, people or groups used, I guess. They used to use um, a bit of spring reverb and um, just delays. And that's really how they got their sound so like thick. So um, you could even add a compressor or chorus. And then we can, I guess, thicken it up, add other sounds to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some drums. So I'm going to go through the drum samples. That's a very like 80s um, cocktail twin sound. So I'm gonna, I know it's the first one, but it's still a really good sound. So what I'm gonna look for next is a clap or a snare. So I'm just going to make my drum kit up so that I've got some nice sounds to use. So these sounds are very cocktail twin, like I said. And what we need is some toms. So some of these, like, the key sounds a bit weird, but we, we can still try. So what we're going to do now is, I guess anything, because there's so many drum rhythms you can do. You can do, like, a basic, like, Put the clap on um, here, which is the second beat. But to me, that sounds like 
too too trappish, you know? People can put it here, but that's actually like trap, so. What I want to do now is I want to get this really, just like a more like mixed sound, you know, like add some stuff, like maybe even, maybe even some reverb to that kick. So this is um, shoegaze, so you can do anything. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding delay to the clap and I'm just turning the dry wet down. And then um, just add anything, add everything, you know? Because the more you add, the more cool combinations you'll find. It's always good to just add random stuff to mix in. So what we're going to try to do now is we're going to try add a sort of bass. And usually this music has a bass guitar, but I can't really play um, bass guitar can barely play bass, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, um, I think I'm going to use maybe, you know, it's always hard to know what to use. Um, what, what I sort of want to get is I want, want to get that really 80s sort of like um, sound, which is like, I guess like, I could even do it on um, Operator, I'll show you guys, but I probably won't end up using Operator, like. Oh, no, not that sound, but maybe we'll find a preset. Yeah, because to be fair, you don't even need all these VSTs. It's like, um, I get how discouraging it is to have to always try to get the VST in the video. If you're new to producing or like, like that. And to be honest, you can use anything. Most people um, have one that they love using, but some people just collect VSTs. I'm gonna try to find that sound. I guess that's that sort of sound, but it modulates. We can try that sound. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna copy this MIDI into here, gonna click here, gonna press control A and I'm gonna press zero. And this is gonna make it like ghost notes. So if you used FL Studio before, like it's basically like that. But yeah, and then you can see this um, options here. It's basically that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down. So I press shift and then down arrow. So I'm bringing it down. I'm just gonna do that again. And then I'm gonna like try work on a bass line. That is obviously not the right key, and you guys can hear that. So, um, I can follow like the the root notes, which is just A to C sharp. But I'm gonna try like, I guess change it up, make more energy, if you want to call it that. Because I reckon um, changing the bass has so much um impact on the song. There's all trial and error. You can always just keep on doing the same stuff, but sometimes like you gotta fail when making music so that you know what sounds good and what sounds bad. Now it's sounding like synth pop, but um, I promise it isn't. It's more like dream pop, but using um, synths, I guess. So now um, what I'm doing is I'm just making the 16th note. So instead of being dun, 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 it's going to be da, 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 You know, it's more of a dancey rhythm.
now I'm going to put my favorite VST on, which is this one. I highly, highly recommend it because um, basically it sort of gives you a more lo-fi sound. And it's not just for making lo-fi music. I use it just to like get a more, more raw sound. And it's what they used to use back in um, the 90s in jungle music. They had like a real version of this and that basically meant that I guess the the technology was limiting back then so like songs would like sound like this instead of like this. But that's nothing to do with cocktail twins, that's just something cool. But um yeah, what we need to use now is um maybe we need like brass or maybe we need um some cool sound just to add to it because um I'm just trying to show you the process and how they did stuff. Not like, um, uh, I don't know, to be honest. But yeah, the process on how they made stuff. So once this um, VST opens, we're going to find a nice sound. So um, we can use a Juno 106. And this is basically, this VST I'm using right now is, um, it's sort of, it's part of Rolling Cloud. And um, it's really cool because uh, the Juno 106 was, um, used a lot in the 80s in um, music. So it gives it a really 80s sound if you are trying to emulate the Cocktail Twins. So you can sort of even hear the sound. And what we should do also is we should add some reverb. So now if we listen to it, and just put this mix down, opposed to this, You can hear the difference. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get this MIDI again. And we're going to think of a melody or chord progression to put over it. We'll see. So I'm just going to mess around. So what, what we need is like, it sounds so fake. I think all you guys can hear how fake that sounds. What we need is we just need something to like, I guess I guess mask it in because like, it's all quantized also. So what we can do is we can mess with these um effects. We can add some delay. We can add flanger chorus. We can just add everything again so that it just sounds like it's, maybe it needs like, Yeah, see how annoying that delay is when something goes low? So maybe like... This is the hard part, coming up with the melody. So I'm just gonna disable that um, delay while we do that. And I promise it'll be quick. Now we sort of have a melody, so what we can do is we can just repeat this by duplicating the loop, or we can come up with a variation. And I apologize if the audio on this video is not the best. It's just due to my mic being set up sort of weird. So we're going to add that delay now. And to be honest, I'm not even that satisfied with this melody. So maybe we'll try to find a better sound. Or even like, we're going to copy this. So I press control and drag it down. And um, maybe just come up with like something that just plays long like...
it's sort of hard to hear these. Oh, so I've actually just, I think I just heard in my head what I, what should like happen. I'm pretty sure I heard this melody in the um, Cocktail Twin song, maybe. And like, it obviously could be a way better melody, and but I'm trying to do this to just show you guys how to like do it. So I'm just gonna keep it nice and like simple. And basically, like, we sort of got like the general idea now, and, and like, um, it's basically if you had to learn like a couple things from this video, I'd say it's like how important it is to use like shimmer or like reverb or like delay flanger or anything you can find your hands on just anything to modulate the sound and you don't really need to like replicate the full dream pop or shoegaze or cocktail twin you can take new ideas you can take um new sort of melodies new chord progressions you can just take any element of any music you, you want to do and then you can just mix in the stuff you want so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy um the video and just play it again for you guys There's one thing I want to add though, these drums as well as And um I would say the song the song would sound a lot different if there was actual bass or if there's a better bass line but it's sort of the thing, um, using a bass line like this sort of makes it sort of seem like it's um, synth pop. So yeah, if you manage to just come up with a different bass line, use an 808 or get a bass or whatever you want to do, get an emulation, um, it'll sound a lot different and you can sort of achieve that sound. So I'll play it once again for you guys. <laughs> 